The first thing, we'll start with a simple one, which is navigating image waypoints. And the question is, what are waypoints? Why should I care about them? Well, when you have a million images, that's a lot of images to look through. So our, our teams have broken those images into logical chunks. And just like as you're driving down the freeway, you can tell where you are by looking at the mile markers or the names of the towns as they go by. In the image sets, you can tell where you are by because the images are broken down by year or other ways. They let you drill down into a very large set of images, ignoring all of the ones that are not of interest to you. Usually, these waypoints define the images based on where they're from, what kind of images they are, or when they were created. Let's take a quick example and look for the World War II draft registration for James Bedford Mahaffey, who I happen to know was from Virginia. This is the main search page at FamilySearch, and as we go through the presentation, you'll notice the red highlighting. We don't use a lot of red on the website, and I've been introduced that into the presentation to draw your eye that way. One way that I can find that World War II draft registration for James is to drill down into all of the published collections. I'm going to click on the Browse All Published Collections link, which takes me to a page where I get a list of all of the 2,194 collections of, of records that are currently published on FamilySearch. I can see which collections have images. If the camera icon looks like this, the images are on FamilySearch. If it has a little web page behind it, it means the images are on another website. You'll notice that I'm told how many records, index records, are in each set. And for those that have no index records, it just simply says Browse Images. I can tell when the collection was last published, and a little known fact is that these column headers are actually clickable, and if I click records it will resort this, putting the ones with the most records at the top. I also have uh, the ability to filter through, because scrolling through 2,194 collections is quite tedious, I can filter those collections down by place, date, uh, type of collection, etc. Um, I'm going to click on the Browse Images link. I find that the most important tool in getting to the collections most interesting to me is the filter by collection name. And so if I put in World War II, it instantly filters those 2,000 collections down to just the seven that match what I typed in. Now you'll notice there's two collections with images for World War II draft registration cards in 1942. One of those collections has 11 million records, the other one just says browse images. I'm going to assume that I've already looked for James Mahaffey by doing a search, and that's the logical thing to do. If, if he was in there, that's where, the easiest way to find him. But I didn't find him in that. So my next step is to click the Browse Images link. Every one of the 2,000 collections has a collection details page that defines the collection, gives you a description, gives you a citation. If it were indexed, there'd be a search form here, but in this case it's not, so I just have a link to 11 million images. There's also a Learn More link. If I want to know more about this collection, click that link. It'll take you over to the wiki, and you'll learn how to use it, uh, what data is in this collection, and how it was gathered, and a lot of other information. When I click the Browse Through 11 Million Images, it brings me into what we call waypoints. We've taken that entire set of 11 million images and broke it down by state. In some cases, like New York, where we had lots of images within the state, we broke it down into sub-jurisdictions beyond that. Now James was from Virginia, so I'm going to click Virginia. Virginia has been broken down by the first letter of the serviceman's surname. And I'm looking for James Mahaffey, so I'm going to click the M down here. And in this collection, they've gone through and done a light indexing on the name of the serviceman. So when I click the M, I can look on this page and I see James Bedford Mahaffey. Now when I click his name, it takes me directly to the record. Again, there's no index data, so what I'm looking at um, here is the image. When I click on James Bedford Mahaffey's name, it takes me to the image of that uh, record, that registration card, and I can see all the data that's on that. Now, I'm often asked, what our waypoints, what kind of waypoints will I find in a collection? And the answer is I really can't tell you. 
Um, our teams break these down by whatever information is available on that collection. Sometimes it's county, sometimes it's city, it might be by record type. As we saw, it could be the letter of a surname or name ranges a year. If it's a legal document, it might be by case number. The diversity in the types of waypoints is great, and it's always unique to the collection and the record set.